You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live from First Class Sounds, it's DJ Scream. You know who is here, Big Bank, Baby Jade, Shy Jones, and Big Homie Kodak. And it's time for that Big Facts Friday. What's going on? What's the <coughs> deal? What's up, my nigga? Anybody, got, anybody got anything on their on they spirit, their heart, their mind? Anybody want to say something to start, start this off? Before yeah, we we're finna... Oh, you're jumping straight into it. Jay's jumping straight into yeah, it. Yeah, Jay's jumping. Jay hot oh. date. Oh, Jay trying to get up out of here? Yeah. <laughs> she got a hot date. <laughs> no, man. Look I, don't, man. I don't go on dates. Let's go. Date. She got a hot go. date. <laughs> I don't go on dates. <laughs> what's, what's the name what's of the what's, what's, hey, yeah. what's the word of the day? What, 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 the word of the day, my good people, is integrity. Hmm. So the textbook saltine definition is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles and moral uprightness, the state of being whole and undivided. The urban gerbin definition is doing the right thing even when nobody's looking. Hmm. 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 What is the right thing? Well, okay. So how can your integrity be affected? You're going to take us back to the yeah, last episode. <laughs> like, what, yeah. How can your integrity be affected? That's how can your integrity be affected, be affected or change? I think that your te- integrity can be affected or changed depending on your current or future circumstances. circumstances. Mm-hmm. Mm. It could be tried, but it could be changed. Or it can be compromised. It can be compromised. But what if what if you feel like something is wrong? Your values can change, which means your which means your integrity will change too, right? Which means the if you change your values, your moral compass will change because you might think something is wrong Mm -hmm. until you're put Mm -hmm. in that situation, and then now you like, damn, I understand why she slapped the fuck out of Kodak or something. I don't know. Just right. Great example. So yeah, now nah, your um, the moral compass of your integrity can change based on the situation. Yes. Right. Well, <laughs> what the hell is going on today? Piece of popcorn. <laughs> what popcorn, Jay? I'm sorry, but oh. yeah, I think um, but okay. So let me ask y'all this then, since we're speaking on integrity, when Kodak, where's your integrity? No, go ahead. I'm just cool. He has it's none. It's in his bottle. <laughs> Um, okay. So in a situation where the integrity has been compromised, when a person's integrity has been compromised, who's to say whether or not they can come back from that compromisation, (laughs) if that's a word, it's not a word. Okay. It's a word. Comprising, si- compromising situation. Yeah. Say it one more time. Ask okay. More time. In a situation where a person's integrity has been compromised. Okay. Who's okay? First of all, who's to say that their integrity has been compromised? Secondly, who's to say whether or not they can come back from that compromise? Compromising situation. Compromising situation. I think, I think I think you you do that with yourself, right? That's what I say. That's with yourself. Like yeah. if somebody do some shit, and then the next day they're like, "I should have did that shit." They know they compromised their integrity. They yeah. feel bad about it because they did some shit that they know is not part of their moral compass. And integrity is a, is within yourself, right? Yes, right? It's, what, it's your beliefs it's and your it, moral compass. It it's not yourself. someone else's yeah. rules and shit. That's perception and all that shit. Integrity mm-hmm. is kind of like within with you, you know what I mean? Or within the company, because you know sometimes people when they have companies, the company put out that yeah. letter and say the within company this company, integrity, right? The company integrity don't, yeah, blah blah blah. You violated yeah. company integrity or some shit, but yeah, at the end of the day, uh, I think it can be compromised, but it can also change. Your integrity can just change. It's some shit that we feel like is some bullshit. One day that we might not feel like it's some bullshit too. Three, four, five years later, and it's right. some shit Give that we example. might you might stand on and be so passionate about, and then five years from now, I mean, that shit really ain't I'm really just doing too much. Like I don't even really care about that shit that much no more. Facts. Can you give an example? Oh, what is like a, a black man? Of man's, your belief, like what is like a changing? thing that you think that like as a black man that you guys have that's like an integrity as a black man. 
What you mean? Yeah. Like what we allow? Yeah, like I guess my not letting nigga talk like, to you crazy. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Respect. Because if, if 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 a situation happened where a nigga do kind of get away with talking to you crazy, you are gonna feel like, damn, bro, I should have got damn. You feel like if somebody disrespects you, you're losing your integrity. Mm-mm. Your no. integrity is to not allow someone to, to disrespect, disrespect you. you. Yeah. Right. Okay. But if it happens, uh-uh. I don't think that's what integrity is. No, that's not what the definition. That's not the is. definition. It's an but example that's a part of it. That's example. one of your part of your moral compass. As a part of man. your moral compass might be if not to go back to this, but if a nigga slapped me like Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, it got fuck it. I'm crashing out. But somebody else's integrity might be, I'll allow it to happen because I don't want to look a certain way and fuck up this and fuck up that. That's part of your moral compass. Yeah. I see Everybody's moral compass is going to be different. My mom used to say that your te- your integrity is questioned when um, people aren't looking. Mm-hmm. Because it's easy to do the right thing when everybody is in front of you. But when people's heads is turned, are you still mm-hmm. going to do that right thing? You're right. Yeah. You're all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's... Fuck you smiling at. <laughs> Welcome to the like party. <laughs> It's all about how you practice that shit. What the like. definitions were? Okay. <laughs> One time again for the late bloomer. Moral compass. Um, the basis of it, but she can give you the textbook saltine nah, the definition. The urban. Yeah. The urban says doing the right thing even when nobody's looking. Like you were just oh yeah, yeah. That. But then it comes to like what is the right thing? But the right thing is based. You on know what the right thing is. I feel like there is never a situation changes, where though. you. No, don't know what the right Changes thing is. So is integrity person. and morals the same thing? But I'm saying, but you know what the right thing is for you. For you yeah. is the key. Yes. I think right integrity is more right character-based exactly. and morals are more personal beliefs. Or is that Say society's or society? I think beliefs. he was asking me, he, he was asking just in general, like, are integrity and morals the same thing? I feel like Integrity is more character based, uh-huh. and morals are more based off of your personal beliefs. So integrity, basically, you're not gonna allow yourself to do something that that go against what you stand on. What you stand mm-hmm. on, yes. That you won't feel good about, and you can't look in the mirror. Okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying. But that would be morals too, right? It, it's it's, it's together. The it's the same, same family. Is the it? moral compass okay. is under integrity. Yeah. It's in the same family. But you, but y'all say your integrity can change, though, right? You can. Yeah. Your morals can change. It can integrity, evolve. It can I feel evolve. like integrity can evolve, is, change. It's situational mean? if you are not holding steadfast to your beliefs. I what think you mean? It, your beliefs I, can change. Your though. beliefs can change. I think it's all about how you feel afterwards or the next day. Somebody might say at one point in their life, "I'm not gonna do this crime or crime. I'll never do it." Then they find themselves in a situation. With they back against the wall. Like robbing a bank? It could be extreme like robbing a bank, but it could be as simple as snatching a purse. You see what I'm saying? So a motherfucker might feel like, man, I don't feel bad that I snatched a purse off a lady in Buckhead because she having money and I ain't got it. That's the mindset of some people. Justification. The justification. And they might not feel bad that day, the next day, the day after that, the day after that. But if their integrity comes around five, ten years later, they might be like, damn, I wish I wouldn't. I don't feel, I don't feel right about that now. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what integrity is. Either way, is. that's some bullshit. What's some bullshit? Just snatching somebody purse. Yeah, because you, you need money. It's, it's, some, it's, some, bullshit. it's some bullshit, but in the criminal mind, it's not. Yeah. It's robbed from the rich, take to the poor. That's the way a criminal would look like. I ain't saying it's right. It's just, that's a reality for some people. Mm. Especially sometimes they don't feel like it's the wrong thing or you're dangling it in their face. Right. I feel like if you're going to be a criminal, right? Steal from, head, the co- steal from the corporations. No, nah, it ain't even steal from the corporations because they still work hard for their shit. If you're a criminal and you call yourself gangster and all that, if you're going to still go to the other criminals and steal from them, why go steal from like hardworking people? Yeah, I agree with that. Like I, I just feel like it's Whatever fair game. Whatever come with the game, game fair yeah, game. It's fair yeah, I game agree. Over there. Leave civilian Like dollars. why you go steal that. from a lady or an old or agree. old person? So, so, that don't make I agree with it. No, so, I agree with but, it. But, but I got, I got, I got, I got a question on the week with that. Go over there with the crime. I got a question about that. It's free game over there. Listen, that's tradition. Going back, but that's tradition. Yeah, like tradition. Go over there. I got a question. They looking for it. They ready for that anyway. I got a question about that. So you feel like stealing from a person is same as stealing from a corporation? Stealing is stealing. Stealing is, yeah, stealing is stealing. Like, but, like, you know, some people still based on need. Like, there was a story that um, came out a few days ago about um, a woman that stole, like, baby formula and shit from, like, a Target or some shit. And she had 
got in a, in a wreck and her baby and the, and the, um and her baby daddy had died in the wreck. And people were saying like, well, damn, they did all damn. that for somebody stealing baby for me. They didn't know what she was stealing like that. They she did know she, I mean, what she was like, stealing. Like, come on now, like re- realistically, like if you're gonna steal, so you mean you they chased caught. her down? They, they yeah, chased she, her she got down. Chased her down yeah. in the car. Who the hell? But they called the police, and if they called the police, said like if you go steal from Target, right? And they called the police. The police don't know exactly they what chase you stole. You, they they will chase, chase your you ass down. down. For they don't know what you Target? stole. They don't know what you stole. Target called and they. Target probably told us that shit, shit. That shit ain't short. That shit not got. worth chasing anyway. That's why I don't give a fuck. Like when I see, if I see a nigga steal from Target, bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm not about to snitch on you. You stole from Target. That shit is insured. That's a billion if, dollar corporation. If that's your job, your job is working at Target and your job is loss prevention, bro. Do they got loss prevention at Target? I know because yes. at Walmart, all they got the niggas is check, checking your receipts and shit. I'm glad to know we had some shit. Kodak a little stealing from us. All right, God damn. That's how all our bottles and shit. You know what I'm yeah. I ain't, but they I don't ain't. need that shit. Yeah. They don't need it. Y'all, y'all, not, y'all not a corporation. Y'all my niggas. Yeah, I don't know the niggas that. Yes, we are. I don't, I fact, corporation. I don't, own, I don't know. What I'm saying is, I don't know the niggas that at Walmart. I know so y'all. So what? So fuck them. Fuck God the people damn. at Walmart. Fuck Wall- Wally. Where I- them folks at, Sat? <laughs> Fuck them folks, man. Where them folks ass out. They can stand it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you think Walmart hurting because of because of six hundred dollar TV do, got got stole from Walmart? Try, you think wait, they hurting? Hold on. What you just tried to do? I'm gonna be justify. stealing. <laughs> if I work that Walmart, yeah, you talking about? Oh, Walmart, that's what my man. check gonna be, nigga. I gotta steal. <laughs> <laughs> nigga paid nine dollars an hour, and you. I'm talking about this. all these businesses for you. We talked about the Big Bang Strip Club, so Big Bank's department store. And you a billionaire. If I own it, you, you ain't gonna no steal for myself. <laughs> I'm saying, so your employees, Kodak. I expect for them to steal. You expect that's you real. Know, that shit come with that's it. That's real. That come with it. Somebody gonna steal. Man, did y'all see that lady who Somebody had the um this. who had a little barcode shit stapled to her hand? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck like, them folks. Still. TVs. Still. Still. TVs, days, <laughs> lamb chops. Computer I ain't tablets. Make it easy for him to steal my right. shit, but I but expect for him to try. At least try, yeah. yeah. Not come with TVs it. TVs and shit. Now that's just extreme. Man, they be man lamb steal chops, TVs everything, too. Man. Fuck that shit. It's Walmart, man. Seven hundred billion dollar corporation. Fuck them folks. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Am I wrong? And you buy yourself on that because Walmart gonna call and try to give us a check, and you just. Fumble yours. In that case, you go steal everything. You steal from Walmart. You steal yeah. from Best Buy. You steal, steal from McDonald's. From you steal. You steal from Victoria's Secret. You, exactly. They make yeah. you a thief. I'm not. I'm not a thief. <laughs> I didn't steal, say. I didn't say. You steal from all the places steal. you is. I didn't say I would. But I'm not about to stop somebody. I don't ring up all my girls on self checkout. Oh, that's I don't even consider that's just law. Y'all fucking stealing too. Yeah. Y'all fucking yeah. stealing. Wait, this nigga said it's law. Oh, 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 this shit ain't scanning. This shit ain't scanning either. This shit ain't scanning. He got the shit all backwards. <laughs> so y'all walking out that bitch. Y'all looking to be crazy. Oh, Everybody shit. just did that the shit. shit. Didn't, that shit didn't beep. Well, oh, that's they fuck. Screams still like he walk up out that bitch with a light sprint. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, he sir, sir, can I see your receipt? Stealing, man. That's some bullshit. That's you, stealing you too. put a computer there. When you spe- could have a person there that has a family that needs a job. You're stealing from your That's fucking self. Up, you should have had a cash it's cashier. And yeah, a cashier man. on every aisle. If I go in there and there's two cashiers and two long ass lines, I'm finna get through this little self checkout and it and is what it is. Out. And I'm finna check I'm gonna myself self out. Check but it when out. I like said, when I said it. If it don't swipe, I'm gonna put it in the bag. And I'm going to swipe the next one. If we don't swipe, I'm going to put it in the bag. What the fuck? Until somebody says something. I didn't even know. He said he attempted to. He I said, attempted to. I tried to do I swiped it, it. And it didn't swipe. I said, and I that was so I'm not That shit said, hold on, wait for an attendant. I ain't waiting no fucking attendant. I'm going to keep swiping because I got shit to do. No, but you I ain't, ain't even attempted to swipe. Man. I said, I didn't say I was. <laughs> I didn't say I, I was gonna steal. All, he just bagging it up. I didn't say I was gonna steal shit. I said I'm not gonna stop you from stealing. But they at the bottom of the book. All they water they threw. All the other the high shit they threw. <laughs> what they are? They threw. <laughs> Pots and all that shit. Like I just been all kind That's of actually shit. ours. I'm ringing up twelve steaks as M and M's, nigga. This shit ain't finna be rung up. You did. You did that to yourself you with all that automated price. bullshit. It's the same thing. The like easy way out. CVS and Walgreens. I'm going in to get some snacks. Big bags. That y'all gonna have big bags to get eyeballed when we go into. What's camera I need to look at? <laughs> Nah, ain't nobody fucking. But what does that mean for your integrity? I mean, 
Y'all integrity is messed up. No, it ain't. No, my, man, it's my it's, integrity it's, includes convenience. Our integrity, you know what? You right. The hell, yeah, you right. You right. You right. My if integrity is the the, the, the big it. ass corporations yeah, right, be un, right. the big ass corporation be underpaying niggas anyway. So fuck that. But I thought y'all said integrity is a matter of a personal. That's and that's yeah, how yeah, that's yeah, how I personally personal. that's how I personally I feel. My integrity compromised by Steel from Walmart. No moral, <laughs> moral, no moral. We said morals was more of a personal like belief. It's all together. Fuck Walmart, man. I ain't gonna never. In Whoa. my life, turn around and say I shouldn't have stole that chapstick. <laughs> that I pick up a chapstick and put it on my lip. This man. Now Walmart, if you want to sponsor Big Facts, we'll change our whole mentality on all. Oh, for shit. sure. I'm still gonna get them. <laughs> it's too free. It's too free. It's too free. <laughs> this shit too free, bro. <laughs> like, you ain't even trying to. Like you go in there and eat them chips. You gonna ring them up? Nah. Hell nah. I ain't gonna <laughs> bring up them chicken the tenders stone? either. <laughs> I ain't ringing up the chicken tenders. I ain't ringing up that donut. I ain't ringing up nothing. Well, we eating Lunchables and all that. Shopping and eating, man. <laughs> and then throw the, the, the Cause, empty cause shit somewhere Because y'all, y'all should have had a little sample. Y'all, yeah, yeah. Like y'all, y'all ain't got the sample. Y'all should have had a sample. So I made my own sample. Well, fuck y'all, I got to sample it myself. Y'all just justified it. Y'all just, 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 just justified Kodak. Y'all just, just justified and validated everything that I was saying. We are definitely justified. We are definitely justified. Y'all open up. I'm with you. I'm with you. I feel like that. You open up stuff in the store and then you, like. I open up grapes. Like, no, I'm just saying, like. Man, I try shit. Yeah. But look, when you open it and you want it, but let's say you open it and you want it, do you, like. Put that one back and then and go get a brown one. one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why do black this people shit do that? Testers, man. Like, why do black people? Why you just can't take the one you? Open? I just left it for the next tester. I'm screaming. <laughs> Bro, I'm opening this shit and smelling it, saucing it. What you think, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Put your finger in it. <laughs> that shit back. <laughs> That's fucked up. Man. Nah, shit. Damn, folk, yeah, you yeah. Didn't but explain get what? Them folk right. got enough money that they already done wrote all that off. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That These niggas get tax it. breaks. They underpay people. They got motherfuckers in there working for free. And you mad because I stole a six hundred dollar TV? Fuck you. Well, damn. Yeah. So now your now TV, you, you going to jail? jail. TV. Going I ain't talking about appliances and shit. Like that. You, see, you <laughs> I've never stolen electronics. I've never stolen the TV. You saying don't go, don't go up and bet, don't go up and Best Buy trying this shit. I've never stolen the TV. Like yeah, that. I'm some Oreos. And... <laughs> Bro, I ain't trying to steal no TV. And some Pringles and shit. But I buy the motherfucker, though, you get away with. <laughs> Where is yeah. your, where's your integrity? Hell yeah, half off. <laughs> shit. Shit. Back I got this for free. Integrity. I got this TV for free. I'll give a bang for 200 man. Fuck but I can't fuck. go get me two on. <laughs> you with your roguish ass. <laughs> No integrity having that. <laughs> uh, look, man. Yo, oh, yo, man. Shaw, Shaw over here defending billion dollar corporations, man. Fuck Listen, them folks. I ain't say I have to yeah, she did. You told, I ain't gonna steal from Walmart. So, okay, yeah. so, so this is this is crazy. Back, I get, I get back, everybody back, though. Back, CBS, back. Kroger. <laughs> I just don't fuck around with Target. Is that is there is there a karma attached to that? Since karma, yeah, fuck, yeah. I'm asking a question. Is there a karma? Do y'all attached believe to that? in karma? Well, I guess you have to believe I, in karma. I, I get karma from stealing huh? from a billion dollar corporation. Yeah. What's they call? What's they karma? It might be. They karma. They karma is me stealing that six hundred dollar TV. It might be. It Damn. Happens. So y'all trying to justify y'all karma with stealing from these corporations? That's these wow. corporations is fucked up. These are not good people. How you, you don't you think you get a hundred billion dollars out being a good to work person? Work our grandparents to the bone. And not right. give a fuck when they die. Mm. Shit, they working out peers to the bone now. Shit. Mm. Oh, yeah, I got mm. you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. For seven twenty five an hour, but they still don't justify stealing. They don't steal it because to them you. people, them people agreed to do that. See, to me, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's all the validation that I need. Yeah, yeah, shit. <laughs> That shit is documented that they had them, them same folks who owned them spots had the slaves and shit. Mm. Hell yeah, man. How you think the Walters the Walters got all their money? <laughs> think the, said, what? the Walters is the Walters the is general. The the yeah, the, the Fitzgeralds and all those kind oh, of people. God? The Walters are generational yeah. wealth no, from, said, from slavery. You don't think so? I didn't know that. In some cases, for sure. In all cases. What we saying? Name one. The Rockefellers, the Cartwright. Name a nigga that owned any of them big ass corporations that didn't have slaves. Jeff Bezos. Uh, They're 100% of them. The Bezos family didn't have slaves? Mexicans, right? Spanish? 
some shit like that. Didn't they just get started? They was, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck Bezos, par- <laughs> Bezos' parents was rich. Gates' parents was rich. These motherfuckers just started the by themselves. on the board. It's seven. It's the seven. It's seven, seven families it's the that started the board. all of the corporations. Oh, what you got the Rockefellers, yeah. the Cartwrights, yeah. the... um. Hold on, I'm finna look. Hey, you talking up. about less than 150 years ago. Yes, these motherfuckers had slaves. Yes. These motherfuckers had slaves. The Waltons, yes. The Rockefellers, yes. All these Fords, yes. So what's the things other than going broke or being broke or some shit that you feel like changed your integrity or your moral compass? Like uh love? I no. think niggas I think niggas uh compromise their integrity. Integrity. <laughs> <laughs> integrity. Get that compromise their integrity in integrity to feed their family. Yeah. I think niggas would. Mm. Of course. You got the Rothschilds. Like a female. Like a female just Love going to understand. being strippers and all that oh, shit. Oh, yeah. They might not feel like I have never did that, but I got the body for it. I got to go make this money mm-hmm. to feed my daughter, to feed my mm. little boy. Mm. And a nigga who might not want to sell cocaine or something to a to a, uh, a female or somebody that remind them of their mama and their auntie, but they going to go ahead and do it and be like, damn. Mm. Cause you got niggas that do that shit with regret, but I got to. Mm-hmm. See, cause I ain't got no choice. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I might ain't got to, but I don't compromise my integrity for this shit. Yeah. Because yeah. this is the easy route I get. Mm-hmm. Well, you're right. Thinking about these leaks I had, I had to. Yeah, for real. Like, <laughs> you, you just don't. I don't know, but I ain't saying it's right or wrong. But I, I done seen niggas compromise, even in this industry shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. I know damn well I don't want to go out here and got them play a female in a role, mm. but I got to to feed my family. Mm. Like these, like all these people. Like West, are, Wesley Snipes when he played mm. Tu Wong Fu. Just whoever, like you know what I'm saying. Like when you see actors or rappers do certain shit, like damn, why he do that? Like yeah. the nigga from P Valley. I ain't never really watched P Valley. The rap nigga. I ain't never seen that. Oh, the, the, okay, I know what you talking about. Y'all ain't saying P Valley. Yeah. Can you cover you back? The, yeah, cover the gay rap nigga. Said, can you come, yeah. come can you come back from compromise? From compromising your integrity. I mean you can forget you can forget yourself. You can but forgive yourself with that one, right? You can forgive yourself, but still like your con- like if it if your it's just riding you, it's riding you. Like something. Nah, she's saying can you come back with the opinion of people? But in the court of public opinion, it's going to be nah, hard. Yeah, nah, that shit going to ride with you forever. Yeah, if, if, you, if you feel strong about your integrity, yeah. that shit going to ride with you forever. Like, damn, I should have never did that. Like, you see the shit on the internet that you did, you be like, damn, that ain't even me. Right. Mm. Yeah. No matter what, whenever you see it, you're going to know, like, that wasn't me. It's permanent, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but certain situations, will, like, you could jump out there. Mm. Yeah. It's just like going back and forth with a nigga on the internet. I did. Mm. And then yeah. you look back on it like, that shit was lame as fuck. That. that ain't even what I do. Mm. But it's like, fuck it. It's over with now. But every time you see it, it kind of do something to you. Like, man, mm. I shouldn't even do that lame ass shit. But it is what it is. I got to stand on it. I'm done. Right. Yeah. So that's compromising your integrity, right? Mm-hmm. Well. Mm-hmm. But you can come back from it because I really don't give a fuck about it at the end of the day. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. But right. I still know I'll never do it again. Right. Yeah. All right. And there's, I think there's lessons learned sometimes in compromising the integrity. It, it could happen many different ways. Just lessons learned. You learn from it, then shit is a growing pain. But different folk look, different people look at shit different. I feel like, like we said before the shit came on, a bitch could look at a prostitute like I never be a prostitute, but her integrity, integrity of being a prostitute might be. I'm gonna make sure I get myself checked every month. I'm gonna make sure we use condoms. If I come to break, I'm going straight to the hospital. I ain't gonna sleep with no other man before I make sure I'm good. Mm. Whatever. And then you got this same woman saying this. She done been with 10 different niggas, had raw sex. Mm-hmm. But the, but the or this same hoe saying that she'll never be a prostitute. She goes broke and can't pay her bills, and she starts sucking dick. Nah, I ain't even saying that. Like, she might not never do that for money, yeah. but she's doing sucking dick for free. free. She doing yeah, it for free. Her life. Yeah, yeah. But a prostitute feel like my integrity is I got to get paid for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but please. she feel like I'm making myself some bullshit by taking money, but you still taking dick. Yeah, who's stupid? The dick who got taker. the best in- integrity? The free dick taker. <laughs> but I think that integrity just is based off of them themselves. It ain't based off of us and our judgment. 
You know what I'm saying? Like integrity. That, see, now people, that's, that's where it goes in the morals. Yeah, yeah. integrity is what That's they where it goes sell. in the morals. Exactly, that's what I was saying. Like, but if you sucking dick for free, well, you can be getting paid for it. We don't, we, don't, we don't start these conversations with you yet, remember. You can't jump in there. Nah, because that shit just, that, that don't make sense. What's that no, in your hand? How you going to say it don't make sense? Who can man? So every time a woman suck a dick, she's supposed to charge. No, nah, I'm not saying she. I'm that's not saying she. Like that's no. What I'm saying. No, we talk. We talk about. Yeah. We talk. We talk about. We talk about the scenario given, right? He's the purchaser. No, we talk. We talk about the scenario given. John. We talk about John. Yeah. We talk about the scenario we talking about. We said if if she out here, if she out she out here, she out here fucked up, and she still sucking dick for free. Meanwhile, the other girl getting paid for it. Shit. Who said that? That's what he just said. He didn't say Y'all she, twisting she, shit. Y'all yeah, twisting shit. Now, yeah, let's, let's nothing about what's that the girl next word we going to, bro? Because this for. shit too much. What what, what, what? what did you just say? He never said what she could pay. <laughs> I ain't say that. Don't <laughs> let him get say that. that. Yeah, yeah, you want people to jump in with you. All right. Yeah. He he fucked up. Yeah, The fans going, you know, they're going to read the comment. I'm going to read the I know I ain't true. Nah, they're going to light that ass up. Jay said. I said what? You said that um, thank, thank the you. one um, I knew I would I'm the free dick taker is the dummy. I did say that. And you said she couldn't pay her bills. And she couldn't pay her bills. No, no, no. I didn't say she Again, couldn't pay her bills. Camera. I'm saying I said that the 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 lady whose integrity is telling her that the lady that's getting paid the fuck is a bad person. Her integrity is gonna change if she should go broke. And then she has to start getting paid to fuck so that she can pay her bills. Yeah. But who gonna pay her when she already been fucking for free? Ain't nobody gonna pay you. You're not gonna inflate these pussy probably prices. Nobody. Yeah, them numbers are. You gotta get them numbers right from the beginning. And then you gotta know <laughs> deal what you do. This ain't what you do. I'm yeah. He not lying you though. You don't think a girl can go like? She gonna have to move out of town. If, if McDonald's start, if, if McDonald's you start charging roof crisis, prices, you still gonna pay that shit? Shut up. Yeah, we don't jump in these with you. <laughs> then what the fuck you think a girl can wake up fuck? and say all right I'm, a prostitute. I'm I'm about to you know what today this pussy is for sale I'm not I'm not I'm not fucking nobody for free you ain't gonna be able to sell it to the niggas you already gave it to her for free yeah you gonna have to move out of town or something. no you gotta move out of town you just gotta get some clients you but if you, oh, you gotta start yeah. over you can't, yeah, you can't you send it to the same niggas who already been hitting that shit but if you yeah. fucking <laughs> but if you already fucked everybody for free who is everybody who's everybody you everybody most everybody. people most people in that it. in that area. She gonna bait it. You gonna she gonna bait it. Charge you. Yeah. <laughs> Who? You Who? John John. Gonna get some John of that one hundred five point three to beat big homie shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sight. Yeah. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta, you gotta, you gotta validate that. Big <laughs> homie's gonna purchase them yams. He don't give a damn. You, nah, you, but I find like, one. I don't know, man. What this subject was, bro. <laughs> Integrity. <laughs> Integrity. <laughs> it ain't no words. It still is. <laughs> integrity. integrity. My integrity. My integrity would not allow me to <laughs> go out bad. What's go out bad? Before I go out bad, I go out bad. But what's go out bad? Whatever that consists of. But what does it consist at that particular of? whatever moment. it consists of within me, like going out bad, like I just went out bad, like I, my integrity won't allow me to be able to tell myself, man, you just went out. You bad. can only define mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can only dis- define that within yourself. You right. Know what yeah. I'm right. All right. That makes sense. What about you yet? Oh, now you want to know? Yeah. What's the question? What would your integrity not allow you to do? Shit. Um. <laughs> Paying more for the dollars is doing it's absolutely, um, nah. But um, it's it's really just doing some shit. I would I would regret. That's again, that's pretty vague. But yeah, I would. If that's really that's what it comes down to, you go out bad. Yeah, same, yeah. Shit. same shit. Yeah, yeah. That should be everybody. Like I ain't gonna really go out bad. And going out bad is what you feel like going out bad is not right. what everybody, not everybody else feels like. Yeah, because yeah. it's some right. shit that that that, right. that happened have happened years ago, and I still be thinking about that shit. Like damn, that shit was fucked up. What happened? How, what what could I have done? Like different shit. Uh, like it's different. Answer. Like personal and business shit that I did. Like damn. Uh, uh when I when I went up to Charlotte, I, I did some. Um, I did a. Uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Nah. Don't nah. tell me. <laughs> nah. It was don't in, no, fucking tell, tell me. Let them tell it, it, it was it was it, it was internship. I took it to Charlotte. Did? It was it was some shit for school, but I should have stayed in Atlanta because that shit didn't end up amounting to nothing. God, and I, I wait, about to say. and I wasted my time up there. Like he went back door. I want moral. That was 
Yeah, in tech, it was it was a bad choice. It was just a bad yeah, choice. Yeah, that nigga lying. Wrong choice. <laughs> but for me, it felt like some integrity. Oh, something else happened, Charlotte. Else happened. Nah, something else happened in Charlotte. <laughs> nah, what he what his lying, name was? Charlotte. That what his name? Integrity was fucked up. Oh, what his name was? Get to Charlotte. I had him fucked up. Oh yeah, the mega bus. Yuck. Oh, you went to Charlotte and did what? Yeah, what you doing? Mega bus. You and Sark. With mega bus. With when? What? No, yeah, good, man. That's, that's, we trolling. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, the women ain't really said though. What's 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 something that you you never do like part of y'all? Yeah, shy uh, women. Uh, you know, for me, queens. honestly, I think my integrity. I agree that integrity does change. Mm. My integrity changed once I had my daughter. Mm. So it was certain things that I didn't really give a fuck about prior. But then now that I have chance, it's like, yo, I can't even do that because I got chance. Mm. Like, it's certain things that I even think about doing. Fact. But I'm like, damn, I can't even do that because I got chance. And mm. I know I wouldn't want her to do this. Mm. So I think my, like, shit, I think about it. I already told y'all. Like, I think about going on Instagram and be a little insta thotty sometimes. But I can't do that because I got my daughter. Like, for no, real. You know what I'm it. saying? I can't do an OnlyFans. But you would if you have a daughter? If I had my daughter and I was already on Instagram with my bikini on and shit, hell yeah, I have an OnlyFans. It makes sense. You already on there with a bikini, my little get a little checky check. I ain't saying I'd be on OnlyFans having sex and all that, all but right. I for sure, if I'm on it, Graham with a bikini, you ass out. You gonna see it on the OnlyFans? You gonna charge for it? You gonna do yeah. the Ruby Rose? I, I would have for sure did if Ooh. I didn't have my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be kind of fun. Okay. <laughs> Situa yeah. Situational integrity. Yeah, it, it just depends. I think I think everybody, depending on like, as a father, situation? you wouldn't do certain things because you you got your daughter uh, now. Yeah. No, as a, as a husband, I wouldn't do certain things that I know I want to do and I just can't do. Exactly. <laughs> so I gotta have this type of integrity <laughs> for my wife. Yeah. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause. What about you? Huh? Love integrity. <laughs> My integrity. Yeah, what's one thing? What's what, what was the question? What's a couple of things that I wouldn't do. Yeah, you just, wouldn't um, just, compromise your integrity. Contact um, what? I'm, your fucking vape, I guess. Go ahead. <laughs> I know. Um, I know one of those things is I never, I never rat on my friends. Mm. I never rat on my friends. Um, I would never like. I would never like abandon my friends or like do anything. Or like fuck my friends over in mm. any situation. Mm. Um, what? So okay, but what's something maybe in the last five ten years attached to your integrity that might have shifted? And when you when you say that, what do you mean? Uh, <clears throat> again, back to the basics of some person. I'll never smoke weed, and they start. It could be some simple. Or I never hang around this type of person that do this type of shit and you've been around that person you find out they've been doing that type of shit but now you still hang around them hmm. you know what I do got a better example because I've, I've I don't called, think that's integrity though I, yeah, I, yeah, your integrity can be that because you could, your integrity could be based off like I never hang around somebody that I don't know that beat his wife like any man that beat his wife fuck them I don't hang around niggas that beat their wife or whatever and then you find out Probably from your moment. homeboy wife like damn he used to beat my ass last year like then now what that was last year. Yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with me now. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it changes then, right? Look, Class what, the what, I, what I about to say, because I've called you about this a few times, like, and work, especially working in media, because shit, I used to work with TNZ, like, media integrity, because this has been a bunch of shit that I was like, damn, bro, if I put this shit out, I'm going to be that nigga, but it's kind of fucked up to put out. You feel yeah, me? Kodak could call me about some shit. I'm like, bro, don't call me. No. Don't do it. He wanted to do it. <laughs> no, he, yeah, exactly. Though he wanted small to do it. But I knew it. I knew it would have been fucked up. fucked up. <laughs> I knew it would have been fucked up. But I stepped back and say, you can do it, but just understand when it come. What come with that? But when I ain't never walk did. outside and somebody just punch you in the face. But I ain't never. But I've never. I've always made the right decision in those in those moments. It's been real only because you called me. Uh, it's, been, it's some shit that's I can't. That's it's the a, only reason you made it. Because <laughs> you done put some shit out there before, and I'd be like, bro, you ain't called me about that one. Uh oh, damn! Call him out. I so mean, basically, your media integrity is some shit that, that's questionable. That no, it's definitely not questionable. I've never done any. I've never done anything that would have been really you, fucked up. You yeah. will make a conscious effort not to put out anything that's gonna destroy somebody's life. Facts. Okay. Because oh, it's yeah, been it's, it's been shit that's happened that I've had like exclusive info on. I'm like, bro, I can't do this shit. Mm -hmm. Nah, with the media shit, I feel you on that because it's just certain shit. No matter what a nigga got. 
ops, whatever. We don't want to talk about your ops unless you bring them up. Yeah. Mm. Like I ain't trying to lead no no young nigga into no type of conversation about no right. beef. I don't want you to leave. Even if you bring it up, we're going to be like, can y'all fix it? Or right. That shit, you know The what positive saying? aspects of yeah, it. That's yeah, that's my integrity when it comes to this media shit. Like, I don't want to see no nigga leave this motherfucker with added on beef yeah. from big facts. Like, yeah. leave this right. motherfucker and go kill a nigga or go get killed behind some big facts. Some shit, shit that we restart up never here. never to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Right, right. You and think that that will fuck up our integrity? Hell nah, yeah. nah, I'm saying. Nah, I'm saying. My integrity. I just don't want that on my heart. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, like for example, just would it fuck up our brand? Speaking, like the brand, like our integrity. By it, let's say hypothetically speaking, two rappers came and some shit happened afterwards, right? And yeah, we did do the whole standard. You know, y'all should try to fix this shit, but then somebody get killed. Well, you think that that we will? Can't nah, control, we can't control. We can't control. Yeah, we can't control with what they do. We can only control what we do. But we not yeah. finna. We not finna hype up hype an up. already yeah. known issue no. like facts, between facts, the facts. two people. Yeah. Right. But no. you would still feel bad because it's like I wouldn't morally. feel bad because I know how I felt about the situation. It's in your heart, yeah, like okay. even even yeah. when niggas come up here, I tell them nigga like, bro, we don't want to discuss that. We want to discuss you, your yeah. life, yeah. And, and what you got you know going what I'm on. Yeah. Now, if you feel like you just a hothead, you want to get out what you do. Whatever happened after that, that's your choice. That ain't mm-hmm. our choice. Yeah. Right. We are gonna put that shit out and yeah. let it do numbers, but that ain't our choice. Cause that ain't what we own. Like, yeah, we not yeah. in this shit for clickbait and yeah, all that. Our shit. morals, like, yeah. the shit that we standing on. It's not even allowing us to uh, compromise. Even my touch on that subject. That. Got yeah, you get gotcha. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I ain't going to feel no type of way because I already know coming into this shit, when you first sat down, I went on that. Yeah, mm. right. Man, if you getting off of it, hell yeah, we're going to get to the facts of it because that's what, that's what you want to talk about. Mm. Right. But you're not going to force that shit out of niggas. Uh, nah, hell no. Nah. I'm don't even. i going to try to deflect them when you start trying to come out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, how's the weather? Yeah, exactly. We're gonna try to de- deflect it, but now if you just come out your mouth and say what you say, we ain't erasing that. Mm-hmm. Put it out. Yes. Mm-hmm. Unless it's just too much. Like some niggas done came up here and said yeah. shit, I was like, erase that out, screen. Yeah. He yeah. feel like he want that out, but he don't want that out. Right. Yeah. Right. And right. then after I talk to the nigga, he be like, well, that part, bro, I didn't even want it out. And that that done happened with the biggest interview. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We take some shit out just because we don't want that said on our show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. You get what I'm saying? Like other people might, yeah, yeah, let that shit go. And then nah. after the fact, the nigga will think about it for real and be like, damn, Black was right. Exactly. He just mm-hmm. saved me. He compromised his integrity for some clickbait exactly. shit that we didn't even allow to come out. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And if we did that, we'll feel fucked up. And then our integrity will be clear. Exactly. Right. Because yeah. that shit rolled all the way to the last day a couple of times. I'd be like, nah, screen, take that shit out. Man. Don't even <laughs> let the nigga go out there like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Just cause. I just know, even though we ain't on no bullshit, I know what it's going to lead to. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Or what it's going to look like and how people going to perceive Fuck what it's going to look like, what it's going to do for our brand. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. They sat down, even when the little young nigga said whatever he said, we sat there and listened to him say his truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then people judged. Yeah, like, what the fuck? We, we don't do? give a fuck about their judgment at all. No, I'm just saying. But it's just like, it was just crazy how people took that one little piece and twisted it and didn't even... Didn't even know the rest of the story. Like, yeah, but when we first started this shit, I told him we ain't talking about no beef shit, man. Like, yeah. I don't feel like that shit is necessary. Nigga talking about enough in their songs and whatever. What the fuck? We're going we gonna to talk about what you got going on, your life. You know what I'm saying? Your female. Whatever real life, you got yeah, real life shit. Yeah, real life shit. The right. facts. We don't yeah. want to know. Because when you talking about beef, you talking about your opinion. You telling your side of the story. So mm-hmm. niggas ain't going to always bring facts when they talking about beef. Mm-hmm. Right. It would only make sense, and it's not a reality if you had both, both parties. Exactly. Now it makes sense because y'all decided that y'all want to talk about this and have us a sit down, mediated. You know what I mean? A mediated sit down for sure, but not. Yeah, we ain't on that. We and you seeing how far the brand can get when you take account of what niggas may be going through and don't acknowledge that bullshit. Like you, ain't, like you look at some of these other platforms, they got to do that shit to get their clicks. Mm. We ain't got to do that. No. We just, right. It's all in conversation. No why I like this Big Fat Friday shit. Cause we just chilling, talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That other shit, the Big Facts, you know, that's our baby. That's our go-to. But with that, I'm more <laughs> careful to try to strategize. I mean, try to strategically have a conversation with a nigga mm-hmm. instead of talking about <clears throat> everything. Like the we typical here. shit. Like when they see uh, this week on Big Facts, they probably think they talking about that. Nah, mm-hmm. we ain't. Yeah. Get it out your head. I don't give a fuck who you see on our spot. 
Right. Mm-hmm. Get it out your head that we talking about that unless they talk about it. Right. We can't control right. what they do. Yeah, we can't control that. Mm-hmm. But if anything, we want to got now see these young niggas squash their beef and move and past. And go up and mm-hmm. fucking get a whole bunch of money and get rich. Facts. Mm-hmm. So can integrity... Um, you think if people squash their beef that it'll change their integrity? What you mean? Like being that like they're in, like they may have beef are they weak for squashing the beef? Their integrity, beef, right? Beef is so more. Then, like, I think beef is more ego, attached to ego than yeah. integrity. Yeah, I, I think yeah. squashing a beef to some niggas would be compromising their integrity because it would be going against what they felt like they needed to stand on that initially caused the beef in the first place. But then when you turn around and just think about all this shit, all this fake ass beef shit, it really just put niggas in bitch ass nigga. You really just put you in a like some bitch shit especially if ain't nothing nobody got smoked or nothing nobody got the fight you know what i'm saying like the back and forth just the bitchy shit mm-hmm. when it ain't that i feel like that shit need to be automatic squash mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like if ain't nothing happen before something happened before something happened you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day with all beats you really can't determine how it started right Never, like you never. I nobody ain't, think they remember. Nobody, it don't be done started by nothing but some looks or some comments because nobody ain't took nothing for nobody. Ain't nobody did nothing. Nobody, ain't nobody fucked nobody's wife. Ain't nobody mm-hmm. did shit besides talk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now we finna got them throw our lives away over some talk. Mm-hmm. Ego. That shit go against your integrity. It should. Yeah. It should. Yeah. When right. you think about it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it, like you said, it'll be just all ego driven, like. Nigga tried me. Mm-hmm. What that mean? You know what trying you is? Mm-hmm. Nigga taking something from you. Nigga breaking in your house. Mm-hmm. Nigga stealing your car. Nigga got them shooting at you. That's trying you. Mm-hmm. Nigga talking, that ain't trying you. Mm-hmm. That's a test. But what if they take that as somebody talking at them as them going out bad? Like you, like we just they steal a test going out bad to who? Hey, you went out to bad to yourself? They're like if they saying like, oh, by them doing all this woofing, you trying to make me go out bad. And I ain't about to go out bad. They still so. childish though, if you think about it. Because I done been in the same position. Like, mm-hmm. trust me. When I think about it, it's still me being a bitch. At the end of the day? At the end of the day, you're still being a bitch because yeah. you're taking a nigga words as as value. Mm. Mm. Okay, when, when okay, yeah. now you say them words, that's cool. Yeah. But when you see me, if you acting on those words, then that's different. That's different. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Now you got to protect your integrity. Because yeah, exactly. Because with, with those with those words that you said on the internet, I'm really just responding because I feel like people heard you. Mm. Yeah, but that goes back to what Shantae said last year on one of our episodes when it comes to people in relationships. Like so a lot of times, when you in a relationship, the only reason that the woman feels a way about certain shit that she's been accustomed to is because she feels like. People have seen it or people know about it. Now she feels like she has to feel away for the public eye. It's still pride, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It still ain't nothing but pride at the end of the day because yeah. it, if, if you stop thinking about it, everybody else going to stop thinking about it. Right. Mm-hmm. You only making them think about it when you letting them know it's affected you. Mm-hmm. Right. A nigga say some shit right. about you and you never say nothing about it, never then, man, that shit don't be nothing. At mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. At all. You see me and you act on it, that's when it's something. Right. You know how much shit they saying about niggas at the top? You gonna never make it to the top if you got damn worry about what a nigga saying. Facts. Biggest. Mm. Facts. Biggest. Like, you just talking. You know I be it. If you feel that way, come Pull say that up. shit right here. Right. Then that's when it becomes... Do or die. Mm-hmm. Or protecting your integrity. And exactly. Your that's when it becomes that. That's when it becomes disrespect. Mm-hmm. You can't disrespect me on the internet by talking. Right. Mm-hmm. I had to get to that point. Right. Because I used to feel like, how the fuck a nigga feel? Nigga just tried me. No, you didn't. Right. Yeah. Right. You just tried it. You didn't try me. Right. Mm. You tried the internet. You tried yeah, the platform. You, yeah, right. You tried it. You, tried you didn't try me. Right. Right. So when you take when you take certain shit to heart, it's like you really putting yourself in a bitch position. Mm. That'll go back and forth. Bitch ass nigga, 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 like you doing with like females do. Yeah, only hoes go back and forth. Yeah, but when you see a nigga, when you see, when you take it for what it is, okay, you talking. When I see you, please don't be talking like that. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and please a don't ple- think you finna violate my personal just space. Just go the other way. Yeah, exactly. A please, you know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. Just like, please. Mm-hmm. Just please. You think them folk got them in them boardrooms and everywhere else ain't hearing shit that got them, like, they're just like got them <laughs> McDonald's and Wendy's. You mm-hmm. think they ain't got them saying fuck McDonald's and their commercials in the way that they saying it? Mm-hmm. Burger King is definitely saying fuck McDonald's. Yeah, yeah but them definitely. folks ain't pulling up skiing at them folks right. like that shit. They handling their business, but they ain't handling that business because they ain't stunning that shit. They making the Mac rib sound. We're going to make a Mac rib then since you talking about Big Mac. <laughs> they capitalizing out the situations too. Yes. Yeah. Which a lot of people See, that's, in that's our another culture thing. could do. We don't capitalize off of our situations. We don't. We, we, minim- we minimize. We stupid. don't capitalize. We, we minimize. don't make no money off that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like niggas say, goddamn, you can't make no watch with boxing gloves on. You always fight. You can't even count money with boxing gloves on. Mm. You can't do nothing fighting all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's real shit. I just got that in the reading. Like, mm. you can't do shit with boxing gloves on but fight. But fight. Right. Yeah. You're right. I like that one. That's the truth, bro. Oh, shit, man. I just feel like take it for what it's worth, man. You you know what I'm saying? Take it in. Now you see a nigga, take it in. You can take it in for whatever you take it in as, but your response is what make it what put you in this in 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 the box with them. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your reaction. They've <laughs> they've 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 thrown out to you some energy, mm-hmm. and the energy that you give it can Make this shit a bigger energy or it'll just fizzle out most times if you just don't. That's what I have made a part of my integrity. I feel like that's going out bad. Mm-hmm. If, I, if I indulge in that, I feel like when I indulge in that type of shit, internet shit, that's going out bad. Because mm-hmm. I remember times they had to beg me to get on the internet. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even get an Instagram or yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To what it was like 2019, 2018. When I got an Instagram, 2017, Jay made a page. Mm-hmm. And I always felt like that that shit was what it was. Mm-hmm. I felt like how Shantae say, I'm going to say something mm-hmm. because I'm taking it personal. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I had to grow past that and be like, okay, you already done seen what that lead to. Mm-hmm. That didn't right. do nothing but put a red nose on your face. Now you're a clown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When that go against your morals, Going back and forth, like you just look at niggas on the internet, and be like, "This internet shit, like I hated that shit." Mm-hmm. He used to call niggas and be like, "Man, take that shit down, man. <laughs> exactly. That shit lame." Mm-hmm. Still the same like, way, but then you get caught up in that shit mm-hmm. when it's you. It's a drug. Cause now it's your feelings, mm-hmm. yeah, and your emotions start to get involved. Like, nigga tried me. Mm-hmm. Ain't that shit? This the internet. How a nigga try you when they don't know you? You're right. How a nigga try you when they do know you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you finna take this shit so personal to the point that this shit can lead to some real shit. So that's the big, that's probably the biggest uh, attack on the world's integrity right now. It's probably social media. Facts. Mm. That's the biggest attack on it. Facts. Because yeah. it's so easy to go in there and compromise your integrity and you might not even be realizing you're doing it in the heat of the moment. That's with anything. Mm-hmm. That's with anything. That's with goddamn, like she said, being a thought on Instagram with anything that you know you wouldn't do, but you know I ain't get no lights just posting my face. Yeah. <laughs> I show some ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that integrity. <laughs> Real shit. I'm trying to get some lights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you seeing the people that's actually doing that is actually getting money. Yeah. 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 This shit designed, man. Like, we ain't going to go into that conversation, but it's designed to fuck a nigga whole mind frame up, bro. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Don't compromise your integrity. Triple dot. No, Triple dot. <laughs> yeah, okay, but that there. shit, yeah, that shit is something else. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like when you compromise your integrity, do you know you're doing it? Yeah. Not all it, the time. You know, it depends. Not all you know, the time. it's different levels. Go ahead. Most of the time. Most of the time. It's I feel levels. like when you're doing Sometimes, some shit, you know you ain't got no business doing it. You know that, like, you usually wouldn't do, like, Something is telling you, like, man, this ain't it. There's a level. Like, there's a level. That ain't got to be that. That ain't about got to be in your integrity. That could just be like yeah, intuition. Yeah, that could be like this wrong, but shit, I feel good doing it. Yeah. But don't you have you had that? I think we all had that yeah. moment where there's that level of hot where you just can't think straight, and you don't realize till afterwards. Damn, I 
kind of co- compromise my integrity. Like I should have did that shit. Yeah. But it's that level of hype. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That level of hype where you work on my temper and all that shit. Your brain you can't even. You're mad. Yeah, your brain. You like you're not even yourself, and people are. You know, people will be looking at somebody like that. Like, why do I like calm down? Just calm down. And you can't calm down because you reach that level of height. That's another way you can compromise your integrity. Yeah. All right. And do some shit that you ain't mean to do. Nah, you, yeah, you definitely can compromise your integrity in the heat. Like you say, in the heat of a mm-hmm. moment. All right. Like an argument or, a, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a fuel. Like you fueling with somebody. Mm-hmm. And me and Jade into it, and I just say <laughs> some shit that I know I don't mean. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I got to stand on it because I said it. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. my pride, now my pride, pride don't want to let me be like, well, I don't mean that, Jay. I apologize. Right, 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 right. I'm mean, like, I was so mad at that point. Bitch, fuck you. I mean mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But I don't mean it. And especially on some marriage shit, yeah. I've, I've made, I made it a point to add apologizing to my moral compass and integrity because I used to not understand that shit either. But I, I was wrong. The first time you say that shit, it feels a little weird, but eventually it's like, shit, if I was wrong, I should just, I was wrong. I'm always wrong. I was crying. <laughs> I apologize for shit I know I ain't. I'm right, but I'm wrong. Happy wife, happy life. Right. I know I'm right, and you know I'm right, but I'm sorry. <laughs> just let's stop talking about this shit. Right. We're just picking your battles. God damn. <laughs> Picking your battles wisely. Choosing your battles wisely. We got bigger and better shit to argue about than this bullshit. Right. It's, we got to fight oh, the world yeah, together. We got a real argument coming up. Yeah, in we got to fight the world together. We, we can't fight each argue, other. Arguing over this shit. Cause... I'm wrong because I've been wrong by a lot of shit. So That's I'm going to just take this L. So I've been wrong for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm wrong because of what I did in 1919. <laughs> Overall, you're overall you're wrong. Oh, in your former life. <laughs> so I'm wrong. Steve. Overall, you're wrong. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what it is, man. Uh, don't compromise your integrity, but do check us out at www.bigfactspod.com. Salute. You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream.